In the transformative journey outlined by Neville Goddard, we are invited to reconceptualize our relationship with our past to cultivate a future brimming with prosperity. The essence of today's discourse is the power of reshaping past occurrences to foster a brighter tomorrow. This metamorphosis is facilitated through the art of imagination, where we envision ourselves in more auspicious conditions or compose hypothetical letters that recount events not as they transpired but as we yearn for them to have unfolded. It's imperative to grasp that imagination molds our reality. Achievements can be reimagined, and the realm of dreams holds as much substance as the physical world, enabling us to leverage memory as a tool for creation and transformation. By selectively recollecting events as we choose, we possess the capability to entirely modify our reality across time. The tale of the steward in Luke 16 verses 1 to 8 exemplifies this technique of revising history. We hold the power to remodel our surroundings by meticulously altering the chronological order of events in our minds. Though this method may raise ethical questions, as the gospel itself critiques the pursuit of accolades through deceptive means, such manipulation of the past reshapes the present and, consequentially, the future. This narrative serves not as a frivolous exercise but as a profound lesson. Altering our perception of the past reshapes the energy we project into the future, thereby transforming our destiny. Our present and future are constructed upon the energy derived from our past. If this energy is negative, our current and future circumstances will reflect that. Yet, drawing positive energy from the past doesn't require its perfection. You can perfect it in the present, emulating the steward's actions by rewriting that past. This practice should be a daily ritual, extending even to recent events. Should the news broadcast a wildfire, reimagine that narrative. Picture a report highlighting an increase in forest preservation efforts. This shift in perspective alters your emotional state, and by transforming your emotions, you reshape your reality. This was the approach of Mrs. Flores. She reached out to a real estate agent to sell a property that was a financial burden due to high taxes. The agent's initial response was unfavorable, citing various reasons, including a sluggish market. Florence received this discouraging news on a Tuesday. In her mind, she revised the agent's letter, envisioning a positive response filled with enthusiasm for selling her property. She immersed herself in this reimagined scenario, adopting multiple viewpoints, the author, the producer, and the protagonist. As the producer, she envisioned orchestrating the scene where the seller meets the buyer. As the protagonist, she visualized a successful transaction in the real estate office, culminating in a handshake and words of gratitude. And as the director, she rehearsed this scene until it felt immediate and real. Remarkably, three days later, the agent informed her of an interested buyer, and within two days, the sale was finalized, unfolding exactly as she had visualized. This transition from a passive to an active stance towards life demonstrates the power of mental manipulation. Each night, review your day, vividly revising scenes to resolve problems, as illustrated by Louise's experience. After meeting the man of her dreams and facing separation, she envisioned herself as a married woman, complete with a wedding ring. This nightly practice led to their reunion and eventual marriage. The world is in constant flux, and nothing, including our past's impact, is immutable. Both past and present influences perpetuate into our future due to the attention and imagination we afford them. By altering the present and past in our minds, we can reshape the future. Roberto's experience as a guarantor for a negligent family showcases this. Through imagination, he transformed his perception of the family, leading to an unexpected resolution where they became responsible tenants. Similarly, Mrs. Susie overcame decades of back pain by revisiting and altering a childhood memory of a fall. Through imaginative revision, she not only eradicated her physical pain but also demonstrated the profound impact of internal change on external realities. These narratives underscore the transformative potential of revising our past. By engaging in this practice, we wield the power to reshape our experiences, align our energies with desired outcomes, and craft a future filled with the success and fulfillment we envision. Neville Goddard's innovative approach to transforming our life narrative through the revision of past experiences unveils a realm of untapped potential for personal evolution.
This methodology transcends simple memory alteration, it is a profound act of self-reinvention and a reimagining of our existence. The account of the steward, as depicted in Luke 16 verses 1 to 8, transcends its biblical origins, serving as a potent allegory for the mind and imagination's capacity to reshape our life's trajectory. The concept of revising our history is not merely about altering how we view events that have transpired. It's about changing the vibrational energy these memories contribute to our current and future selves. It acknowledges that while the concrete events of our past are immutable, their emotional and psychological repercussions are not. This capacity to modify our past's influence allows us to release ourselves from the shackles of negative experiences, paving the way for a brighter future. Consider the case of Florence, who successfully utilized this technique to facilitate the sale of her property. Expanding on this, let's explore additional hypothetical scenarios to underscore the revision technique's efficacy. Picture someone who has encountered professional setbacks. Through the lens of revision, this individual can reinterpret such setbacks not as failures but as invaluable lessons, equipping them for forthcoming ventures. This shift in perspective not only redefines their understanding of past events but also renews their approach to future endeavors with renewed vigor and positivity. Another scenario might involve someone grappling with profound emotional loss. Through the process of revision, this loss can be perceived not as a conclusive end but as a gateway to new beginnings and personal growth, opening avenues to newfound joy. This transformative internal dialogue can offer significant healing and freedom. It's crucial to clarify that the practice of revision isn't about negating or overlooking the adversities we've faced. Instead, it's about recontextualizing our experiences, acknowledging them while choosing to view them in a light that fortifies and equips us for a better future. Integrating the practice of gratitude with revision, as Goddard advocates, enhances this process. Reflecting on our day with a lens of gratitude allows us not only to recast events in a more favorable light but also to appreciate the lessons and opportunities they've presented. This synthesis of revision and gratitude can markedly elevate our emotional and psychological health, magnetizing more positive experiences into our life sphere. In essence, the revision technique is a potent catalyst for personal transformation. It empowers us with the understanding that while we may not have control over past events, we hold sway over their significance and their impact on our lives. By redefining our past, we not only alter our perception of it but also unlock a portal to a future replete with possibilities, success, and fulfillment. The narratives of the steward, Florence, Louise, and Roberto illustrate that through imagination and an open-hearted approach, we can rewrite our stories, steering our destiny's helm. Thus, the past perpetuates in the present only because we allow it to, by dwelling on it as the foundation of our current existence. If it must persist in the present, then let us reshape or reframe it, ensuring its influence aligns more closely with our desires. The steward's inquiry, how much do you owe my master, followed by the directive to take your bill and write down 50, as recounted in Luke 16 verses 5 to 6, serves as an invitation to creatively reinterpret our memories, thereby influencing our future trajectory. This narrative of the shrewd steward beckons us to courageously alter our recollection of past events, to favorably shape our forthcoming experiences.